<laughs> what is up my people today we're gonna be making a stunt seat so if you want to learn how to make a stunt seat let's go ahead and get into it it's not an easy skill to learn i've been practicing it for many years So I'm showing you what I got to do this project. So that right there is uh, some kneeling pad foam, like for like when you're working on a car or something. I got that at Arbor Freight for like 10 bucks. It's a pretty high density foam. So it's, I'm sure it's gonna work pretty well. Um, it, well, it did work pretty well, obviously. Uh, the fabric is just like some leather from Hobby Lobby. You can get it at like Joann's or whatever, like buy it by the yard or Michael's and a staple gun some fabric glue now that's my old seat you can see that like the foothold on that was a little too small so that's why i'm also redoing this to make the hole bigger and do some build up so now to start the process i got to get rid of all these staples that are in the seat to get this old leather off so i'm going to use these um needle nose pliers to get the those staples out of there so one by one gotta yank out all these staples and there is a ton of staples it's a lot and it just takes forever so we're just gonna speed up this process and go ahead and just flow with it staples 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 tons and tons of staples so just don't uh pinch your fingers because that sucks doesn't feel good to pinch your fingers with some needle nose pliers. And then the next thing is gonna be to get this little plate off that locks your seat down to the bike. And that's gonna be two 10 millimeter nuts that are on there. So just pop those off real quick and then that'll release the strap that goes around the seat. Cause you gotta get that off so we can get the fabric off the old leather. So boom, take that off, toss it to the side, cause I'm not even gonna reuse that. And then, oh, well, more staples, what do you know? So I gotta pull out more staples that were underneath it. It's like the staples don't end, but boom, right there. Now we're gonna get the leather off and she's off. Oh wait, oh, I thought, now you got more staples. Well, like two more, but now it's off. So there it is, after I get that off. Now we got an exposed seat. And out with the old, because we don't want that old leather no more. We ain't using that. And now that foothold's too small. So we got to cut that foothold, and we're going to shave the top of that flat. So that way, like sand it flat so that the foam can, uh, you know, sit on a flat surface when we glue it on top since we're doing buildup. So, yeah. Just use basically like a cheese grater type thing or some sandpaper that's like really coarse. I did like a pickle jar cap with some holes in it, which worked like a cheese grater. And it worked pretty well. So I shaved it pretty flat and also a grinder too, if you wanna go through it fast. Uh, that, now you see, I just gotta get that hole wider because it's too small for my foot. I can't fit my foot in there. I'm afraid it's gonna get stuck. So there, I got it cut out. I used the angle grinder with a cutting wheel to get it cut wider. And then now I gotta get the foam traced out to make the foam match that hole. And then just a razor blade, like box cutter to get that out. Extra points if you got the avocado box cutter. So yeah, just pull that foam out, boom, boom, boom. And there it is. Now it's even. And then that's how it looks flat. Already sanded down. And then we just gonna get a tracing of it, like the outline, cause we're gonna lay that on top for the buildup. And then using like a serrated knife or whatever you got to cut it the serrated knife actually worked pretty well just like a regular serrated kitchen knife and it cut through it pretty smooth as you can see so no complaints there it worked pretty well it's like a bread knife type thing and then now we just got to glue that foam on there but i'm going to trace it out i got to trace that hole because obviously i got to cut that hole out so we're going to trace it with a metallic sharpie boom and cut it out done and we just gotta pop it out boom popped out 
So now let's get it laid on there. We have to glue that on there. And then we're gonna take another piece though, because we're gonna do some build up on like the rear part of it. But first what I did was I kind of scuffed up the surface. Oh, and there's that that pickle cap that I was telling you that I used like as a cheese grater type thing. Um, we're gonna get that, you know, kind of coursed up a little bit so it like adheres better with the glue. So you see it's kind of like scuffed up, it doesn't look as smooth. And that's just so that the glue will stick better. I mean, I feel like it'll stick better than it just being like a really smooth surface. That's why I did that. And then now I'm gonna get another tracing of the tail part of it because that's where we're gonna do the build up, like where you're actually, your foot's gonna kind of sit. So then just kind of cut it out of there. And this is all just that same one piece of that foam that I got from like Arbor Freight. And just make a little straight line just so that I can cut right there. And boom, now that's done. It's just basically gonna lay on there. I'm gonna scuff that up too, so it also sticks well with the adhesive. And it's pretty much it. So, well, I can get a little extra piece off. So you see that little extra piece there I gotta cut out. But I just decided to like move it more back. And there, that's how it pretty much is gonna look for them until we gotta file it down. We're gonna shape it with that cheese grater thing and that knife that serrated knife. And also I use this grinder with the sanding disc to really make it a faster process because man, it was taking forever. So I, I was able to take off a lot of foam at a time with, uh, with this grinder. And that's pretty much what it looked like after I sanded it down. So basically when you wanna do it, just get the shape that you want. So that's what I wanted, that's how I shaped it. Take your time with shaping it because you can always take more off, but you can't put it back. Now the next step is gonna be for the fabric. So I'm gonna cover it in tape, like if I was doing upholstery in tape, because this is just some, the way that I learned to kind of get these pieces. Now I'm tracing it like where I'm gonna do the stitching, right? So these, where I'm doing the lines, I'm gonna cut it. And that's basically where it's gonna be stitched together. And those are the pieces that are already cut out, boom. Those are all gonna be stitched together to make the fabric. Now, I don't know how to sew, so I had to go to my mother to be like, hey, Ma, can you stitch this up for me? She ain't never made no stunt seat, but she did a hell of a job, so I appreciate that. Shout out to moms. Yeah, she killed this project with it. Came out really well. She's never done any type of like upholstery on a seat or anything like that, and she actually did a pretty good job for her first time, so awesome. Because I can't sew. <laughs> so you probably have to take it somewhere to do upholstery if you don't know how or don't have somebody to do it. And now we're just going to wrap it and make sure you're stretching it tight and then get the staples on. Make sure it's sitting where you want it and hit those staples, stretch, staple, stretch, and like just keep looking at it. Make sure everything's pretty even and straight and you're happy with it. And you're probably going to put like a hundred staples in it. So that's basically what I did. So I would like put a staple in and then it's like, all right, now stretch this side and then boom, another staple. And then just pretty much just going all around it to make sure everything's even. So that way we got a good, uh, fairly good looking seat here for somebody who's never made a seat with build up. Now that white stuff that's on the leather, that's just the markings I did from uh, the oil pastel when I was like, no, trying to like tell my mom where to stitch at because she didn't really know she's never made a seat so that, that was just a hat for her to have a guide of like where to do the stitching so that cleans off with a little bit of uh you know soapy water or whatever but yeah stretch stretch that leather real tight and then hit the staple and then i would suggest starting from the front to the back of the seat because i feel like if you start from the back or the side it's gonna be a lot harder to get it like nice and tight and flush around the corners because it's easier to like get a stretch from the back of the seat and like kind of tuck the wrinkles underneath than trying to do that to the front. So it's like, I would definitely suggest starting with the front of the seat and then stretching the leather, you know, from front to back. So that way when you get to the end, you're gonna have kind of like these little like overlapping wrinkles or whatever, but they're easier to like stretch and hide at the rear of the seat. So yeah, I mean, it's just a process of fitting and stretching and then the stapling and then, so it's just time consuming. So you just gotta, you know, be patient 
definitely be patient and your hand will probably be hurting a little bit from all the stapling and stretching but hey if you want to do a stunt seat you got to go through it so there was a couple times where i had to kind of pull like a staple or two out because i kind of had to adjust it a little more to the left or a little more to the right but no big deal you pull it right out and staple again you know and then a couple of the staples in certain spots you don't really want to go in well but i kind of tap them down later but right here is where i'm just cutting the excess off so because it was obviously you want a lot of overhang when you're doing this because um you want to be able to have like material to grab and stretch so when you're cutting these pieces initially you want to add extra at the bottom to make sure there's like overlap to grab and yeah just be patient take your time and make sure you have plenty of staples because you're gonna use a ton and just uh some time on your hands and get you an avocado box cutter it makes it uh it makes it better because you know avocado but there's the finished product it's what it looks like on the bike right there i still hadn't cleaned off like the uh oil pastel uh lines but you get the idea that's how it sits it's wider it definitely fits my foot a lot better so if you learned anything you got any questions let me know thank you for watching you guys ninja turtle stunts i'm out